Welcome back, everybody, to your three-man booth. We're talking the NFL 2021 season. I'm Dan Salem with Phil and Bud. Oh, lots of uh, new hope this year, but we're going to talk Super Bowl predictions, guys. And personally, I don't see a lot of new blood in the final four of the league. I don't know about you two. Um, any, any teases before I get into my own picks? No, I'm kind of with you on that, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. me too. Okay. My, my final four is really kind of a final five. I, I think it's, it's the Chiefs and the Bills in the AFC. And I think it's the Packers, the Buccaneers, and I'm going to go with the LA Rams as the final three in the NFC. Bills, Packers, with the Packers winning the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers wins it and then leaves Green Bay. I just think that's the biggest FU I could think of, and he's going to pull it off. He was really close last year, and I just don't see the Buccaneers repeating. So those are my picks. Let's get to Phil. You you, you give me yours, and we can debate between the three of us after. Well, I guess the show's kind of over because I, I had the same Super Bowl champion. Well, that's good for SEO purposes. Um, all right. but, but really, for the exact reasons you say, I think it's going to be the, the big middle finger to the Packers as he, as he leaves town. With the Lombardi Trophy. Okay. Do you, do you have the, the Packers beating the Buccaneers? Uh, no, I actually have the Packers beating the Rams. I think oh. the Rams have yeah, the Buccaneers. Okay. And so you had the same final final three in the NFC. Okay. I do. And then in the AFC, I have Kansas City and Cleveland. I, it's, it's just it's going to be a match from last year. You Not like for the championship, but Kansas City and Cleveland have, are clearly the two best teams in the AFC. Clearly. I st- Bud, you've been on the Cleveland bandwagon for a while. I still feel like they're a sleeper pick to do really well. I know they had a good year last year, but to actually repeat it, it's a tall feat for that team, in my opinion. But we'll see. So, so I, I actually have the the Browns and the Bills and the Rams and the Packers. And I have the Rams uh, beating the, uh, the Bills. Ooh. Who did Kansas City get? Who knocks off Kansas City? I think Buffalo does. I think, but I think yeah. Buffalo. Listen, if it if it wasn't for one particular play, Cleveland would have beat Kansas City last year. Agreed. I didn't consider Cleveland, but I could give it to us. We all had the same same final three as like a collective in in the two conferences. Like, I, I I tried hard not to pick Kansas City, but it's like, how, how do you not? I mean, they've been there essentially two years. ago. I mean, who's going to beat them in the? A? I mean, well, maybe Cleveland. Cleveland's got a good defense. I mean, Buffalo's got a Buffalo maybe can keep pace with them, but Josh Allen had a career year. So is he going to do better than that this year, or is he going to take a step back? That's really the question for Buffalo. Yeah. Well, he just got paid two hundred fifty-eight million, so they better hope that the uh, he's taking the next step. No, no, he did take. He took the step from year two to year three. That's why he played so long. Well, like, is he, he, he has to yeah. do that again? I mean, there's a there's a there's a strong likelihood that he'll dip off slightly, but their defense is good enough that it won't really matter. Um, and you know, by the time we get to the, the AF and NFC and NFC championship game, we're all going to be wrong completely. It's going to be four complete teams that we didn't even think of. That's, that's I mean, Kansas City pretty much got there the last two, three seasons. So it's not a stretch to pick them. And Tom Brady just gotten there. I don't think Tampa Bay's, I don't think Tampa Bay's coming out of the NFC. It's so hard to repeat as Super Bowl champions. Look, look at Kansas City. Yeah. I thought they were a lock last year to, to go back to back and they didn't, and they got knocked off. Granted, they made it to the Super Bowl, but. Well, none of us picked Tampa Bay to get out of the NFC for that reason alone, but I do think Brady gets them to the championship game. I mean, I think the I got yeah, I, I have the Rams knocking them off in the divisional round. It's got to end at some point, right? It, yeah, I was just gonna say it's got to end at some point. I mean, he, he has to. He, he's gonna. He's forty four years old. Eventually, he's gonna have to like be done, right? I, I don't know. No, I would think so. But Derek Carr just challenged him to like he wants to play to longer than Brady. Like, I don't I, I they've returned their entire football team. So, like, while the, the Chiefs returned all their best players, and the Bills returned most of all their best players, the Buccaneers literally returned everybody. Do you think he's going to stay in Green Bay after the season? No, no I think he's done. Nope. I think, I think he's done. I mean, he's, he's rearranged his uh, contract so that he has basically an out after this year. I think that this is, this is it. I think that he didn't get what he wanted this year. He's kind of doing a swan song dance and that that'll be it. Yeah. I mean, he got, they, they brought back one of his wide receivers to make him happy for the year. I, I'm, I, I picked them. I'm just a little nervous that they don't quite have the defense still. It's really a chalky pick. And yeah, he has all the motivation in the world to 
take them down the down the down the stretch, win it, and be like, all right, guys, peace. I'm out. Would he retire? Would he retire? Probably not. No, right? he'll go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. He'll go somewhere else. I want to talk about the opposite side of the spectrum for a moment before we get into the rest of the playoff teams. Because I saw a note that um the Texans depth chart lists Watson as their fourth QB. They're obviously anticipating him not playing, right? So I, I, I take back my statement from last week when I said I think there's a chance he might play. I, I'm down to his there. He's not playing for the Texans. He's not. Yeah, but he's not going to play the season, right? He's just going to have to take I'm, the ball. Well, right. It, he, yeah. The only reason he's at camp is so he doesn't get fined. I don't even think they want him there. I don't think he wants to be there. The only reason he's there is because the CBA says he has to be there or he'll be fined. Now, now there are a lot of prop bets out there. Is that one of them? Do you know that you know? Of? I have, you know, <laughs> according to DraftKings, they have taken a, a bet for the specific amount of $2,751.03 on the Jets to win the AFC championship game. What is the significance of the amount? Do you know? I don't know, but the guy would win $209,000 if it happens. I feel like you bet 10 bucks to win a hundred grand or something on the Jets, right? Well, 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 you know, our, our, our future quarterback threw two interceptions in a green, white scrimmage. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, but he had a perfect day of practice today. Everything you hear out of giants camp is oh, Daniel Jones. Is a, he threw one interception. Oh my God. Stop it. Oh, and, and Evan Ingram dropped a key ball today and everyone was booing him. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, listen, we, we... <laughs> <laughs> that one's justified. I know. I read that Dak Prescott was getting a second MRI today, but that there's nothing to worry about. And it's just routine. I'm not buying it. What do you, what do you think? So apparently I heard today when I was listening to the radio that he had two extra surgeries that nobody knew about. Ooh, I know that, Bud. you don't think it's going to happen. Phil, I guess you don't really either, but the jets have the longest playoff drought in the NFL. If it's not this season, are we, are they going to break the drought next year? I, mean, I think they have a shot this year. With the uh, with the extra <laughs> extra game, do, do you you want? I, I know that you guys think that I'm ever the the pessimist. Tell me when they make the playoffs. Right, Buffalo Buffalo could easily win 13 games this year. Miami, you'd have you'd have to hope that two is going to make another step. And Miami is very good defensively. They have weapons. Their offensive line is good. So Miami's going to be better. Do you, you got to you got to think Cam Newton. I mean, oh, Cam Newton was terrible last year. Hold, hold on, and they still went. They still went seven and nine last year, and he was awful. And you think that he's got to be better? And it, they're getting they're getting all their players back on defense. They got they finally have two tight ends. They haven't had a tight end since Gronkowski left. The New England's going to be better. There's there's no way. There's okay. no way. So, so you immediately be, be three or four years until the Jets make the playoffs. You, you immediately assume that two trash quarterbacks from last season are going to be better on our rivals. Yet you don't assume that we are going to be better when everybody on the team is new and fresh. That's the that's the issue I take with your negativity towards the Jets. I don't disagree that they <laughs> that they they got a rocky road to climb, but you're high on Cam Newton and two it. <laughs> so Aaron Rodgers is going to quarterback the Saints next season. Then. <laughs> Maybe Aaron Rodgers is going to quarterback the Giants if Daniel Jones can't get his uh, his uh, feet under him because they're going to they're going to ship him out. We we all, we all like Buffalo, Kansas City, and I think and Cleveland to get in the playoffs, right? So that leaves um, what four more teams in the AFC? I mean, I mean Tennessee is almost a lock. I mean they play the the oh, Colts. Yeah. They, they play the Houston Texans and they play Jacksonville. I mean, they, if they don't run away with that division, something's wrong. We they have that, to down win that division. We say that every single year about one of the four teams in that division, and every single year that division is super close. As long as Derrick Henry is just going to be the workhorse, nobody's going to stop them. But you like both Miami and and the Patriots. I'm not a uh, – I, mean, no, I just like, like them better than the Jets. I like them better than the Jets. Do you like either one of them to get into the playoffs? I think that I think the Patriots are going to win the division and Buffalo is going to be the wild card. I think Buffalo takes a step back this year. I really, I really do. You like, so you, you think Cam Newton bounces back and, and finds his arm again? No, I think Mac Jones is going to start by the mid season. He's just better than Cam Newton. Who's less likely to make it through the season, Cam Newton, Jimmy Garoppolo, or Andy Dalton? <laughs> oh, Andy Dalton. Yeah. I mean, easy. <laughs> That Andy Dalton may not even start the season. 
No, he'll out. start. I think he starts at least week one, but that might be it. So he'll, he'll get benched first. I, I think that's pretty much a lock. All right. When does when does Trey Lance start by? If if the 49ers are winning with Garoppolo, he doesn't he's not gonna see the field this year. And I don't think the I don't think the Niners want him to see the field, to be quite honest with you. I think they want Jimmy G as their yeah. Again, if they're winning, that means Jimmy G's playing well. So yeah, and I mean Garoppolo's gotten hurt almost every single season, so there's a good chance Lance will get in there, but uh, they don't want him to. I think you're I agree. You know what's interesting? I saw a couple headlines. Gardner Minshew is not ready to give up the starting job for the Jaguars. Now, I just assumed that it wasn't his anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's his to give up. Will, will Jordan Love see the field at all in Green Bay this year? No, no. not a chance. Okay. No. Unless Aaron Rodgers goes down with an injury, there's no chance. Better yet, I think Nick Foles will see, see the field for the Jets. Oh, I don't, I don't like this, the events that would lead to that happening. So You we'll said go. Nick Foles? Nick Foles, yeah, we won't we won't go that route. I, I don't want to know what happens to let Jets really. I read I read I read something the other day like mock mock trades. I mean, you you could literally you can give up a six round pick for him. I mean, that's nothing, right? But that's Wilson it. would have to be out with an injury for the Jets to bother to trade for Foles. Do you think that either the Chargers or the Broncos will make the leap into the postseason in the AFC? They were both pretty close last year. I think the yes, are, Broncos no. Yeah, I agree. Okay. And how about over in the NFC? The Seattle Seahawks, they continue to play well enough to make the playoffs like they always seem to do, which is uh, it's hard to bet against them. I, I, have, I have three teams out of the NFC West making the playoffs. San Francisco as the seven, Seattle as the five, and the, and the Rams at three. Yeah, we had three last year. Why, why are you down on Arizona? Because they were very good last season. Kyler Murray still should be very good. I just uh, – I'm not that I'm down on them, but those teams are just going to beat each other up. Do you think Kirk Cousins will finish the year as the Vikings quarterback? Yes, because no other option. Yeah. And I can't tell if they're still going to be pretty good or not. Like, they're always good, but, like, not good enough. Who's the other teams? I don't love the Falcons, even though Ryan, Matt Ryan returns. I mean, they, they underperformed last year, but – Significantly, I'm trying to think who else has a real shot. I don't know. Well, like- so, so, so selfishly, I, I put the Giants in, but I also put Dallas in too. And so that way, I'm not as biased as everyone thinks. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I, I do think one of those two teams will win that division. I, I'm not sh- because really, because in know. the because in the South, Carolina is not going to make it. The Falcons aren't going to make it. The Saints aren't going to make it. Um, then you oh, got yeah. the North. You know, the Vikings probably may not. The, the the Bears the Bears are because if they make a quarterback change, that means they're losing. And then Detroit. Oh, yeah be a dumpster fire yeah everyone in detroit seems to be really happy though now that they've switched coaches <laughs> oh man they hated on the that uh guy that's now in new england again whatever his name is but patricia yeah they hated him bad and mm-hmm. no more 500 teams no more five yeah. they had an 18th game but that might be down the road all right so we'll, we'll save this for another week but someone's going to go worst to first and someone's going to go first to worst because it happens every single season I got to look at who those teams are. We'll talk about it in another, another show. This has been fun for the Super Bowl. We all basically picked the Packers, except for Bud, who likes the Rams. Go LA. <laughs>